Hello folks. As of time of recording, it is the 23rd of December 2023, and I just had the rather delightful surprise of discovering that this game has uh, has just been released on H.io. I'll put a link to it in the video description for you. It's Milo and the Christmas Gift, which is a sequel to Milo and the Magpies. And I, I couldn't be happier really because I was um, I was thoroughly delighted by uh, playing through the first game, uh, and that was the the first video I published in 2023 on the 1st of January. So it is quite a gift to me to um, to get a sequel to the game, and for it to be the last video of the same year. So I'm I'm really looking forward to this one. You can already hear the uh, tinkly Christmas music. Um, let's just have a quick peep. So I think this is a shorter game than Milo and the Magpies by the description of it. Um, but I'm sure it'll be uh, just as much fun. I hope it will be. Um, five chapters. Um, let's just have a look at the credits, which I think is this one. No? This, no. Oh no, this one. Information. There you go. Um, so this one, uh, the publisher is Second Maze, uh, and Johann Schaft is the um, the primary creator. Um, uh, more credits, there you go, fuller credits, we can see who did everything, there you go. Um, so Johann Schäft is, is the primary artist for everything, uh, but you can see who um, contributed to the music. I think um, it's probably the same team as, as made the previous game by the looks of it. Uh, so uh, if you haven't seen Milo and the Magpies played through or played it yourself, um, it is a game where you are guiding a cat um, through the neighbourhood to try and get back home and having lots of misadventures on the way. Um, really interesting, um, uh, basically um, uh, languageless um, gameplay, uh, characterisation, a uh, really good sense of place and this really beautiful um, soft art style. It's kind of uh, a watercolour and pencil kind of effect and uh, for, for me personally it, I associate it quite closely with the um, the colour pencil work of uh, Raymond Briggs and I associate Raymond Briggs very closely with with Christmas so um, it all ties together rather nicely for me so let's let's get going let's see what awaits oh, what oh okay we're getting some are we getting a little blurb beforehand okay Milo and the Christmas Gift is a short free-to-play point-and-click adventure created by artist Johann Schaft to celebrate the winter holidays. The game is a spin-off story following the events in Milo and the Magpies. Can you help Milo find Toby? <gasps> Look at this. That was the family that had newly moved into the neighbourhood, who live uh, just across the way from Milo. Seem to be fitting lights in the, in the tree where the magpies lived. And then we're zooming in on Milo's family, who I don't remember much about. Chapter 1. Meet Toby. Oh, Toby's the rabbit, of course. Oh, Look at Milo. Oh, are there any? Oh, but what about their sparkly baubles? There's, look, there's a collectible. There's collectible angels. Come on. Are you gonna make me? Oh, you're gonna make me click on my like okay, Click on my like. Oh. Oh. Ah, my. Did you see Milo turn green? That was. Uh, this is a very placid bunny rabbit. I have met far less placid bunny rabbits than than this one, than Toby. Um, let's see if we collect these angels. Oh, they turn around. That's nice. I um yeah really enjoyed the um the texture of these backgrounds, and I kind of like the uh, the flash gaminess of it. Um, it's it's a bit nostalgic for me. Right, uh, little yellow thing on the ground. Not, uh, but I can interact with this ornament here. Oh, I can look at it. It's got the yellow thing in the reflection, which is interesting. Let's tinkle the bell. Can I click on anything else? Not that I can see. Um, can I click on Milo? Milo, oh. It's the, um, the older, 
Okay, the same thing. Oh, okay, my sad enough now. It's the um the old old older sibling pro problem. Oh, there's a this is a person. I did not realize this was a person sat here. Okay. Um. Oh, there's a Tinkerbell there. Interesting. Um, spin the angels again. Is why not? Um, I guess I can click on, on those guys this time. But let's have a look over here. No. Whatever we're supposed to do there is clearly not not the thing yet. Can we go and see the other person who's here for some attention? It's probably what I would do if I was Marlo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I reckon we'll just... Oh! Oh, Milo, me Toby. I guess are we gonna meet Toby? <laughs> okay. Is that looking here? No. No. Oh. They're communicating. Oh, is that a challenge, Toby? I can do that. <laughs> Delightful. Seems to be going on for a while. I thought we might see our bum in the reflection. No, okay. Uh, Toby? Oh! Uh, oh, my doll! Oh. Right. Let. Oh. <gasps> Toby. No. Come back, Toby. He ran that way. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Now we can see a reflection. Tickle bell. <laughs> yeah. That's a lovely picture of Milo's face. Oh, <laughs> that's really good. That animation. Oh, it's a secret! <laughs> well, is this sort of reflection is a secret? Well, that was nice. Um, I thought that was, you know, advancing something. How about that, Tinkerbell? Can I go out the door? Can I go out the door? Interesting. Um, can I interact with... Uh... Milo. Oh, I just asked Milo to go and get it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, why is this, why is this gate open? Oh no. Don't go to those weird neighbours. Thanks Milo, judgmentally. Um, can I do anything with the tea lights on the windowsill? No. Can I, I can click on Milo. I guess we're just going straight after. More of a, an intro there. Chapter 2 Fireworks. Okay. Small objects can be dragged and put elsewhere. Such as this phone. Drag phone to the power socket. I'm charging up. I'm charging up your phone. Is that alright? That's a Chinese dragon. Firework. Okay, that's does, doesn't look like that's been uh, safely deployed. <gasps> okay, there's the uh, I think the music teacher's cat. Is that right? Or at least somebody with a piano is cat. Right. So we are we are we playing Milo? Uh, sorry, Toby. Sorry. Um, let's have a look. It was a nativity with a cu curious cat in it. I like that. That's funny. Um, oh, I thought that was, ah, okay, yep. Um, okay, what does Tobes do? Oh, okay, we clicked on the person, and then... Oh, okay, you got little rockets in a... Are you lighting them with your cigarette? Okay, um, I don't think the animals are going to like this. They did not. 
Okay. Well, now... Milo's in the room. Oh! Click to read. Click what? To read what? Click to read. Okay, so we need a code, do we? Hmm. Oh, this. Oh! These lights wiggle. Nice, they'll move in different configurations. That's interesting. Um, well, I'm trying to think. What? Uh, can we set another rocket off? Okay, so that just sends Milo away. Milo looks around if we click on Milo. And then... Um, well, the only thing that might be a code that I can... Oh, okay. <laughs> Toby runs around a little bit if you click on Toby. Um... Is the number of lights? Because there are... I'm not sure what you count with this one. If you count that one. But there are two lights there. There's one inside that you can see. There are many here. How many are there here? One, two, three. Oh, there's one in the window. There's one in that window. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. That's not a single digit number. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, so I don't know what that would be. Hmm. Um. Fourteen, two, eight. No. Okay. Um. Can't we do anything with the Chinese dragon? Can I do anything with the house? Anything with the nativity? Nothing with Toby. I'm curious what unlocking the the phone achieves for these two animals. Um, so that's how that's a one, two, three, four, five, right? That's a two, that's a one, that's a four, and that's a three. That's too many digits to be the pin, which is four, your standard four. So Oh, click on the cow up here. Okay, missing component, maybe. Okay. Um, click on you again. So you're looking down. Let's set this off and see what happens. Okay, both cats run off. Okay, the white cat hasn't come back, so that might have solved something. Um, maybe. There are two baubles in here. Is that significant? I can see a light there, a light there. And then a light there, and a light there, and a light there. Oh, didn't mean to click on you. Um, so, I mean, that's like one, but these aren't. I don't know why, there's not a logical reason why that would be the um, the number of, oh, it's left a little gnome there, uh, the number of the, uh, uh, the number to uh, make the pin, if you had little candles together, I can see five there. Um, hmm. 
I don't think we need any more rockets. Two, four, one, three, five. Two, four, one, three. Two, four, one, five. Five, one, four, two. Okay. Um. Okay, um, I think it's just down to the pin, isn't it? But what, what do I, what do I use to interpret this number? I mean, it could be, I'm struggling to get four numbers out of anything, I think. Four single digit numbers. So maybe the f all we need is to something that happens with the phone to um, to get the human out of the way. Yeah, it's all the same process, isn't it? And then I like the color effect. Actually, that sounds nice. Mm. Right, anything that we can interpret as numbers. Anything we can look at in the house. Not that I can see. Um, through the door? The doormat. The doormat? Oh, that's the... Um... I mean, I'm thinking it's lights, but would it be so? This this can't count as one entity because it's got too many bulbs to be a number. And then in their house they have three candles, but only one one of them is blue, and two are white. And this kind of has two lights: the star and that one. Um, so that could be a two, and that could be a two, and that could be a one. And that could be a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it could be like a two, two, one, eight. Eight, one, two, two. Eight, two, one, two. No. Um. There's nothing else in here, is there? No. Um, mm. any hints? Any hints? Hey, we found one secret. Do you need a hint for the current level? There's a walkthrough. Oh, bless. Okay, we might, might need to revert to that. Um, but I'd rather, um, rather work it out ourselves fireworks okay um five two. so it's not like this kind of an it should in theory you'd have like an indication of order through something as well as what the digits are that's what i would hope um, so I can't, I can't get any close-ups there. I can get a close-up of the Chinese dragon firework, which seems like it's waiting for something to happen to it, but I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm 
to see if there's anything else that can happen while we're No, it doesn't look like it. Um, if we could get another rocket going, and then our miners looking around, I think the reaction would be the same. Yes. Was that a thing? No, it wasn't a thing. Hold on, uh, what are the colours of the firework? I was admiring the colours of the firework. What are they? Let's see if I can... White, red, blue? Oh, I see. Uh, but I need four. Was it white, red, red, blue? Couldn't, it's quite quick, isn't it? It might be white, red, red, blue, which is three white candles. So three, one, one, one? Unless there are any other candles hiding around. I don't think there are. No, it's not that. Um, uh, one, three, one, one. Uh, one, one, three, one. One, 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 three. No. But I think the colours are the clue. I just haven't quite got the... Unless it's two? Unless the white is two, two on the windowsills. But I can see one there. Mm, why would you put one there unless I needed to count it? That's the... That's the... Oh, unless it's... Unless there are only three and the white lights counts as... All of the lights added together? Let's make the fourth digit. Okay, definitely white, red, blue. Um, but I can't tell whether that's an effect or whether there's supposed to be other things happening. But in terms of white lights, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. So could it be uh, 2611? No. Um. Confusing. Um. Two one one one. Uh, one two one one. One one two one. One 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 two. No. Um. I feel like we're on the precipice of working it out. 
Uh, maybe these ones don't count? I don't know if these ones do either. Um, white, red, I mean, are there any other red or blue candles that count, do we think? I don't, I don't think there are. Um, white, red, red, blue. Unless we needed to count ones that were somewhere else, or and what if I just add? Hmm, I'm gonna watch another firework go up and see. Is this, does this count as a red candle? Hmm. There's gonna be three, two, one, but then that still isn't a complete, oh, unless there were two, like I thought there were two um, reds. No? Uh, two, three, one, two, three, one, no. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's try eleven. Eleven, one, one. No. Okay, um, well, hmm, so we've tried two, we've tried two lots of red, because I thought that's what's happening, maybe it's two lots of I still feel like there's two, I see two reds. Maybe it's two blues? But anyway, that they're both one anyway, so it would still be, still, should still be that. Should it, should it? Um. Three, two, one, one. Three, two, two, one. One, two, three, one. No, I don't know. Okay, I might have to go find some help. Okay, so I went and found a hint on the walkthrough video on YouTube. And apparently it's a, there's something that can happen if you click these in numerical order. One, two, three, four, five, which I didn't think about. I don't know if that makes a difference to anything, necessarily. But we've done it. Yeah, that didn't really do anything, did it? Okay, well I might need another hint. Okay, so one thing I was missing is that um, the wine bottle falls over after the explosion has happened and you're able to look at it for a second and it's got the four digit number 1998 on it, um, which is our clue. So nothing to do with the colors uh, in the sky. But maybe that's part of a different puzzle. Whoa, group chat, our neighborhood. Our daughter Jeanette says, our daughter Marlene lost her rabbit. It was a Christmas gift. If you find it, please let us know. Yvonne says, stop it Xander, you are scaring the animal. Save the fireworks for New Year's Eve. <laughs> the 
No, there's a Toby in there. Oh no, and the white cat's back. All right, we're gonna do now. Oh, chapter three. The Christmas tree. Well, what? But we're in a predicament. Well, that's a fancy comment. Oh, hang on, this is a. Okay, all right, the rest of the family's here. Let's have a look at this combination lock. Oh, that's got red, green, white, and blue. So what was the purpose of getting that down from the tree? Well, maybe it was just a fun thing to do. Um, right, uh, red, green, white, and blue. I mean, I can see uh, red, green, white and blue things that might match this. So red is two, green is one, blue is one, and white is three, maybe? So red was two, two green was one, white was three, and blue was one. Did I get it correct? No, I did not. Okay. Um. Oh, I can click on, oh. Right, it's a red and green bauble hanging by chains and a little bit of ratty tinsel in there. That's fine. Uh, can I, what else can I interact with? This cat, who can look down here. And the nativity again. And the tree. Ooh, I can look at, oh, this is more like it. So it's baubles I'm looking at. Well, does this count as a green bauble? Does that count as a red bauble? That's the question. I'm going to go for the round baubles only. Uh, so that would be two reds in total. Um, two reds. Two greens, one white, one blue. Uh, two reds, two greens, one white, one blue. There you go. No? Oh. Uh, no? Okay. Um, I mean, maybe I count that one as well then, to be three green? Come on. Give us a... No? Oh, hang on, there's a picture. There's a picture here. Oh my goodness, there's more baubles there. Okay, let's click on everything. Oh, the doggy. <laughs> oh, I always get the doggy. Oh dear. We can go click on this candle though, apparently. Oh, that made the cat move. Oh, it's stuffed out, I see. I'm not sure why we would do that. <laughs> uh oh, it's a, it's a cat off. <laughs> oh, the neighbor's out. Click on that. Oh no, that wasn't the candle, that was the neighbour. Can I look at, No, I can't look at the decoration. Alright, so then. I'm going to have to write this down because I'm not going to remember. Green, red, white and blue. Uh, so I've got, like, I've got one green and one red there. And then over here I've got one green and one red and one white and one blue. And then in here I've got one blue and one green so hopefully that is the total of everything so green is three that's correct red is two that's correct white is one and blue is two no so that's still not correct that's what i wrote down oh dear is there another place where there are baubles 
Oh, I can click on the round baubles. Interesting. Um, so they should be the significant ones, right? I think that's what that means. And that is one each, right? One red, one white, one blue, one green. And additionally add a red and a green. And then additionally add a green and a blue. And I don't think there's any thing else. Oh, that candle was a... So I need to do something about this cat off? I don't know. Well, I've got red two, green three, white one. Maybe I just need to get them all to the right thing again. That's what I've got, so that seems to be working again. These codes, these codes. Um, so I'm not really sure what I can, I can click on you. I can click on you. Um, I can, oh, hang on, I can click on. I can break the glass. Oh, that was interesting, because that didn't. I don't think the point to change there. Right, so the other cat's gone. Can I now do the thing? Two, th three, one, two. No, apparently not. Okay. Um, so that's not the answer. What is the answer? I mean, I can get in there now as a cat. That's entirely possible. Do I need to add the blue, the red, white, and blue candles as well? That seems a bit much. What's Milo going to do now? Oh, Milo's going to go inside. Okay. And then... Seven licked Barlin. Seven clapper. Right. One. That's... That's... Yeah. So that's like the, um, the big rocket. But what's the significance of that? Because there's no, there's no like yellow thing. Yeah. Oh, Toby. To oh, we're trying to get Toby to jump out. Oh, and it's snowing. Toby can't get out. Oh, somebody walked by with a Christmas card. Missed that. Oh, oh, they put it through the... Oh. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Young Cole Rommel got. Oh, oh, you puzzle. You puzzle. Extra white. Three, two, two, no? We still not there? Oh, that's the artist, I think. How you doing? <laughs> a little merry. Okay, so the... Uh, oh, oh no, look, there's... Let's tinkle the bell. There you go. There's more here. Right, another white, another red. This is very esoteric, this puzzle. I feel like it would make, make more sense if it was contained to the things that already existed within this family's uh, domain but we can we can try the new combination so that's three green three red three white and two blue which is what we've got now all right that's still not correct oh can i do anything with the door no yeah, it's just like there's a little uh, that little bit of latch we could do something with um, I 
Right, any other baubles that we're missing? They have to be circular. I mean, maybe those ones don't count. I don't know. But why else are we looking at this, I suppose? Um, right, so I'll just double check everything. Green, red, white, and blue. I have one red, I have one white. That's that window done. Um, and then in the shed, we've got a red and a green. On the tree itself, we have a red and a white and a blue. And then on the card, well, no, on the picture hanging up, I guess that's a line of cards, isn't it? Uh, we have a blue and a green. And then here we have a white. Oh, I've got a different total now. Is that right? No, I can't have done that right. Because there are three greens. Yes, yeah, so it should be three red, three greens, three whites, two blues. What else am I missing? <laughs> um, is there anything else around? My somebody's trying to get the door open, obviously. Um, Unless we count the candles. So if you added in the candles, you would have an extra red. Um, you'd have three extra white. And you'd have one extra blue. So you'd have three, four, six, three. Let's try that. I suppose that could be the thing. So I've got red being four, green being three, white being six, and blue being three. No, it's not that either. Um. Oh, Toby. It's okay, we'll get out of here one day, Toby. Before. <laughs> Before the end of Christmas, I promise. Um, uh, I, th I don't know. I think we I think we've done everything that we can do, right? It's, it feels like it. Oh, I'm going to check the um, the hints again. Okay, so I've been watching the the walkthrough, and it's doing things that I don't quite understand. So you need to rearrange the baubles on here to match something else. Uh, so, yeah, I didn't understand this was what the puzzle was. So, in here, there's a white and a red on, like, the bottom right. I guess, so, I don't know, do we start here? There's a white next to a robin. Is there a robin? There's a bird. So that, like, you can click and drag that to, like, there. Oh, I guess these are all the... I thought this was just glitter, but these are probably the points that you can move things to. And the red, the white... Sorry, the white and red. So the red's kind of across some tinsel over there. Can we do that with... Oh, we put it, like, there. Like, theoretically, that would go there. And then the green is directly above the red, separated by some tinsel. So that would go there. And then, in this picture, the... Blue is sort of diagonally up from the green, separated by two tinsel. Um, so, there? Okay, I, yeah, I had no clue that was what was intended there. 
Um, I thought this was a number operation. So that's interesting. Um, right, and now the uh, now the uh, the person has lit the tree. I, th I think we get another set of clues, which is the key to the uh, the numbers that we need to put in. So this is the number of stars, I suppose. Um, is the blue one. Uh, so, I mean, there is one star there, so if that's what we're counting, then that's one. And then here. I like the animation continuing, that's really nice. Um, so green is candles. White candles, specifically? I suppose so, that's three. And then... Oh, hang on. Did I put that in for white? Because I... Yeah. Oh, no, green. It was green, but that's oh, that's correct anyway. And then this was firework. Well, we know the number on the firework is seven, so that could be what that one needs to do. Um, so white is the only thing I'm not sure about. White is the number of bells? Well, the only bell other than the one on the tree is one here. As far as I know. So, made that a one, and that was white. Fingers crossed, everybody. No, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. Two? Two, two? Is there another bell? Where would the other bell be? Well, I can put that one out, so is there now two candles? Uh, no, sorry, that was one. Two candles? No. Um, I'm going to check again. Okay, so this has really boggled my mind. Uh, so, uh, we have a look again. So, the right, the... And the reflection in the blue bubble is the star. And uh, if we look at this, so we're not counting the number of stars, we're counting what the star is pointing at, which is three wise men. So that's three. Um, the uh, power of the rocket is seven, so that's that one is right. And what's the candle one? Green. So that is the total uh, number of candles. So that is five there. And then the the bell one. So what we're actually counting there is not the number of bells, but the number of peals of the bell. Um, so to me, those things are not all equivalent. So it didn't really occur to me. Oh, okay. Chapter four, Winter Wonderland. Ooh, it's very snowy now. Okay, my lot. Oh, cats don't like snow. <gasps> That's very brave, Milo. Hold on, Toby. Oh no! <gasps> oh, they're gonna play. I love it. <gasps> Is this just going to go on forever? I don't mind if it does. Oh no! Face plan! Oh, that was a nice use of an iris effect. I like that. Where did Toby go? Where did Toby go? Okay, what can we click on, I suppose? Is oh, there! I can see Toby. Surprise! <laughs> We're playing hide and seek. This now, this I love. Slightly grumpy looking person in the window. Checking his phone. Um, 
Right, well, I think, I think mine is in there, you know, Toby. Uh, what else can we do? We can click on... Oh, an owl? That's rather delightful. Okay, uh, but I can now see Milo's tail. <laughs> This is a bit, this is a bit cute. <laughs> okay. We're in a, oh. <gasps> mm, okay, I thought we were stuck in a loop, but we're not because there are footprints here. And Toby's not where Toby was before. We can look at the nativity again. Um, oh, oh, okay. It's, I didn't need to interact. Things were just happening. Lost in the snow. Toby. Oh, oh, the canal's frozen over. That's lovely. The sad snowman. Oh, um, some Christmas rubbish there. Oh, the moon. Oh, this is beautiful. So there's, uh, it looks like a water rat there. And there's the ducks hide now hiding under the... Oh, there's a skater! Oh, lovely. Oh, alright, well let's interact with the ducks. And the water out. And the person drinking soup. And the person serving. It's going to be here. Oh. Uh oh. You're getting told off for eating biscuits. There's the. Oh, here we go. Uh, let's see what this says. Cork and. Cork and Zorpy. Interesting. What? And Zorp. I don't know exactly what those mean. I, that's probably soup. Would be my guess. Okay, well. The rat and the, the person don't seem to be interacting. Oh, we can, can we click on the, okay, we can, oh, why are we filling with somebody's oven? Uh, oh, okay, the burn is on, apparently. Uh, oh, let's crank it to the max. Right, I don't know what, I don't want to cause, <laughs> I guess some snow will melt if we make things warm, maybe? I mean, that can go to the max, I suppose, and that can go to the max. Oh, look, yeah, look, you can see those glowing. So that's interesting. I'm not sure what... What else that will achieve. But we've done it. The fish bone? We can't do anything with the fish bone. Can we do something with Milo? Milo looks up. Oh, Milo feels sad, I think. Um, so where is Toby? Where are you, Toby? Um, sign. Water rat. Sad stone man. Oh, 
Right, I think whatever I've done with the cooking apparatus is not doing anything. So I'm not, not quite sure what I need to be doing. Is there on... If I do them all like two steps. Oh, you can see the burner going now. How far do you have to go to get the um, oven glowing? Three steps. Okay. So that might be the configuration that we need. I'm not entirely sure. Um, can we interact with anything else in our environment? Anything on the bridge? What about person? Biscuits. No. No. I can get them in text form. Hmm. Once again, slightly flummoxed. All oh, right, so uh, I found out this is this is definitely a, a, a code-heavy um, entry into the Milo series. Um, so the key to the code is actually uh, the prices for the the goods on sale here, um, and the. I guess it's make a whole heap of sense, but the um, the fifty is a two, so that is like two steps along this one, I think, and then the others are three, with um, no uh, three with uh, no um, sense or anything. So I think that's the right combination to get somebody to come along. Or have I misunderstood the puzzle? Maybe, maybe I have misunderstood the puzzle. Um, Fifty zero zero. I think I have misunderstood it. Let's look at that again. No, I get it. So the um, the temperature that they're cooked at relates to the ingredients. So it's two fifty for the cook and the zupi and the oat uh, oat and soup um, are both on the hob. So that I think is correct. Like three and two. Three. No, one, two, th oh, I guess, yeah, one, two, three, yeah. And two fifty. Should do it. Yes, there we go. Okay, so someone will come to attend them. Oh, I can see a Christmas hat. Oh, I'm not sure why the roof's leaked into the soup by clicking on the Christmas hat. Maybe they wouldn't like it now. No, they did not like it. Oh, they're skating off. Now the water rack can come and have some. Oh, Milo's thinking about Toby. Well, yeah, I'm. Me too. Where is Toby? Oh no, you can't. You can't run across the. <laughs> huh. Right. Uh, Christmas hat. Right. Um. <gasps> right. 
what what are we gonna do now? So mine's kind of stuck in the middle of the ice. I think. Oh no, but Milo is sliding progressively towards this hole in the ice. Ah, <gasps> the moon. Ah, <gasps> what? Toby reflection. Milo reflection. Oh, this is quite. Oh no, it's the it's the massive fish from last time. Let's get out of the way now. Uh, are we good? Are we done? I think we're done. Okay. Um, right. Well, that was an interesting reverie, but we're going to crawl inside the box of box of hats. Oh, now the person with the hat on is coming back. Oh, it's the person from the house walking the dog. Um, my name. I'm just going to have a nap. I feel sad. Uh, Yvonne, where are you? Dinner is served. Okay. There are lots of skate. Can I click on any of the skate? Oh, okay. There's a branch down. Right, I can put it somewhere. Where do I want to put it? Give it to the dog? Uh. Oh, there's a secret cat face. Oh, there's many secret cat faces in this tree. I like that. Look at that. Um, uh, there we go. We're slowly getting the dog and owner back home. But where is Toby? Yeah. It's Milo, isn't it? It's Milo. Oh no, come now. Okay, oh, this is quite a close up, isn't it? Um, oh, is this the end of the. Oh no! Where's the happy ending to this story? Put all the adults sit, adults sit down to dinner. Oh, rabbit. <gasps> rabbit! That's not Toby. That's Milo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but where's? Oh, look, it's the whole neighborhood. That's nice. But what? <gasps> Yay! Oh, that's what happened. So it was just, we were just playing out uh, Milo's Misadventures. Oh! Oh, this is a bit too sweet, isn't it? Oh. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> Oh, I, um, oh, let's, let's see the credits go. Um, I, I enjoyed that very much. Um, I found the, um, the puzzles a bit more abstract than last time. Uh, but maybe, maybe I, uh, my head wasn't quite in the puzzle solving space. Uh, but I, I hope you've enjoyed watching this, um, this playthrough. And do check out the, um, do check out uh, this and Milo and the Magpies because they're both with really um, beautiful games um, and I enjoyed them a lot. I hope um, Johann Schaft uh, continues to make little bits of interactive art like this because um, they're, they're um, gentle and, and very touching. Aww.
Uh, we didn't find all the secrets though. We only found the first secret, so maybe I will now I kind of know what's happening. I'll have a, another playthrough and see if I can find. I think the owl might have been related to a secret somewhere. But yeah, there we go. Delightful. Uh, thank you very much for joining me, and uh, my very best wishes to you. Um, until we meet again, take care. Bye bye. <laughs>